Well, an Albuquerque the mayoral runoff election is Tuesday when you will decide between Dan Lewis or Tim Keller. I'm joined now by Mr. Lewis. Dan, what does this last week of campaigning look like for you? Well, it's a lot of working with our volunteers, our team, really just getting out the vote, encouraging people to go vote, and, and, and really reminding people how important this is for the future of our city. The candidates couldn't be, you know, we couldn't be more different you know, when it comes to our backgrounds, our vision for the city, and how we're going to change it, how we're going to make the city the worst place to be a criminal. And speaking of those differences, what is the biggest difference in your mind? Well, I think, uh, you know, a candidate, I mean, look, I'm going to put law-abiding citizens in this city uh, before criminals, and I'm going to hold the courts accountable. Um, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, you know, Hold, a, hold accountable the catch and release judges in this city and I think that's a big part of it but I have a specific plan to be able to you know ensure that we have the best um, you know most trusted and respected police department in the country uh, so those are some big differences there I think uh, you know you know holding the judges accountable putting law-abiding citizens before criminals in the city mm -hmm. and I think our backgrounds show a very different picture you have labeled the children our biggest special interest group Interesting way to put things, but how would you go about making that a priority? Well, I have one bold solution for APS. I mean, we have one massive school district that's failing our kids, mm -hmm. uh, and it's one of the uh, uh, it's one of the reasons why we're losing millions of dollars. I think in investment into our city. So my bold solution is to break up APS. I think there's a lot of momentum for that right now, but education needs to be uh, more effective, more accountable, and closer to the people that it serves. And I think that's one that way that we can do that. Rio Rancho Public Schools is a great example of it. In the election on October 3rd, you got 20. 3% of the vote, Mr. Kelly got 39. How can you close that gap trying to attract the votes from those other five candidates on that day? Well, I think we've already closed that gap. I think this is going to be a very, very close race. Uh, that was, there was eight people in that race and now there's two. And I think people look at the differences between us and, uh, and who has the vision to be able to move the city forward, make it safe, expand our economy in this city. Uh, and I think we're going to see a very close race. Quickly, a lot of people have said they want to get that magic number of police officers to 1,000, maybe even 1,200, but nobody's got there. We got close once like a decade ago. How are we going to get there? Well, I'm the only candidate that actually put a dollar figure on it and, uh, and how we prioritize police in our, in our budget. You know, $15 million that I'll propose from the mayor's office. You know, city councilors can't do that. They're just not going to do that. We're going to propose it from the mayor's office. We don't have a money problem at, a, at, at City Hall. We have a priorities problem. Mm -hmm. And it's about prioritizing public safety within our budget. Uh, and the leadership to be able to get us there. All right, I appreciate you being here, Mr. Lewis. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We have extended an invitation, Tim Keller, to join us as well here on Action 7 News Live at 4. His campaign is working on a date. <laughs>